Good morning. Uh, happy Sunday. It's great to have you here at Sunday School. Enjoy your beautiful sunshiny day with your family. And today we're going to read about Daniel in the lion's den. And we also did a craft, like a sun catcher craft. So these are color crayons that you do the shavings and it's basically between wax paper and then you iron them and they melt. And then we glued popsicle sticks and then made a string so you can hold it up in the window and you could give it to someone special to you uh, in your life. And uh, update too, so next week there'll be in-person Sunday school, we'll be outdoors on the lawn and we're gonna do lawn games and have fun outdoors. We will not be doing a Zoom session next week. We'll be in person and it's our very last day of Sunday school. So make sure you check out our summer BBS, and then we'll be back in the fall, hopefully back in the building and doing classes and having all kinds of fun together. So thank you so much for listening and attending. Uh, we wish you well. Okay, so our story with Daniel in the lion's den. So Daniel is here and he loved God. He prayed every day and tried to live as God told him to. He knew no matter what, God was with him. Daniel had this good friend named King Darius and King Darius put Daniel in charge of lots of things. So people got jealous of Daniel and wanted to get him in trouble. So they're like, ha, 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 we'll get Daniel yet. So the men tricked the king into making this law that everyone had to pray not to God, but to King Darius. And anyone who broke the law would be put in a den of lions. Wow. So Daniel was pretty afraid of lions, but, you know, he prayed to God anyway. He knew that God could help him even if he got in big trouble. Well, this trouble came pretty quick. The men who tricked King Darius saw Daniel praying and said, aha, we've caught him. Now he won't be the king's favorite anymore. They went to tell the king, King Darius, Daniel is praying to his God instead of you. So King Darius looked very puzzled and Daniel always had prayed to his God. So what was the big deal? Well, the men reminded him, well, you know, you signed that law that said if people pray to God, they go in the lion's den. So here's all the lions and then you have Daniel here praying. So when King Darius went home that night, knowing that uh, Daniel was in the lion's den, he was very worried for him. And he thought, I hope God helps you, Daniel. So in that lion's den, it was pretty dark and scary. And the lions were all around Daniel. And God, he prayed to God, I know you're with me in this hard time. Please help me. And God didn't fail Daniel. At sunrise, King Darius hurried to that lion's den and had it open. Daniel, he called, are you there? Did your God save you? Daniel answered, I'm here. God had kept those lions from hurting me and he kept me safe. So King Darius was so happy to see his friend. And from that day on, King Darius also believed in God. And so our little question here after the story is, how do you know that God is always with you even in hard times? And I think about this story of, you know, lion's den like there's not lions in a building next door here, you know, that are tempting us or could hurt us or scare us. But we may have things that are hard and scary in our lives, like um, getting, getting up in front of the class and talking or when you get on your phone or you get on YouTube, like what you're watching or how much you're watching of things. Uh, there's things in our lives that we have to say, is this? Do I need help with this, God? I feel sad or I feel like this is a hard time. So we know that God can help us through that. And we can talk to our parents, our grandparents, our trusted adults to help us in those hard times too. So we'll pray together. Dear God, thank you for being with us. Uh, help us always turn to you when we're struggling or having our ups and downs because you're here to help us through that. And um, we just love you, Jesus. Help us share that love. Amen. Take care.